fine day, Mr. Einstein was coming from his office. He boarded into a tram car. There was also a clock tower, like just beside the tram car. And that tram car started. Einstein was observing the clock ticking at the clock tower. He was observing the flow of time. So as the accelerated tram car like moves uh, away from that clock tower, Einstein was still observing the clock tower and the flow of time. At that instance, Einstein thought, what if this particular tram car reaches to the speed of light? At that point, during that interval, Einstein thought, if this tram car will nearly approach us to the speed of light, then the time, the moment of the pointer will slow down. This clock ticking, the moment of pointer will slow down and that's the point where the general theory of relativity and the special theory of relativity like begin at that particular point. So he thought that anybody, anybody which is having a mask, they cannot achieve the speed of light. The massless objects such as the photons, waves, they can travel at the speed of light. That is nothing but the 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second, which is very massive. So it is not a practical for that tram car to reach at the speed of, to attain that speed of light. But at the back of mind, Einstein was continuously thinking about this, the speed of light and the motion and the time, time, speed of light. Okay. Mr. Einstein was highly influenced by the work of Sir Isaac Newton's. He knows all this equation of the motion that Newton gave us. He also influenced by James Clerk Maxwell. He was the person behind the electromagnetism, the electromagnetic waves, theory of electromagnetic. A photon will travel at the speed of light, will be having the two different phenomena. They are having the electrical component as well as the magnetic properties. So that was uh, stated by Mr. James Clerk Maxwell. So by combining these two, Einstein wanted to know that there is something he wanted to discover and then he discovered the space time a particular body okay when that body approaches to the speed of light for that particular body time will get slowed down in such a way that over here here is the equation that is speed is equals to distance upon time as the speed increases the time will reduce and when that particular body reaches to the speed of light, the time will become void for that body. There will be no experience. The, the body will experience no time. The time will become completely void. And that time, that object will also experience another phenomenon of length contraction. And friends, when that particular body moves greater than the speed of light, at that point, the person will experience the negative time. So negative time means we can go in past. We can do time travel. So this will happen. So these all of this phenomenon that is the change in time, the observer, that object which moves at the speed of light will observe a dilation in time is known as the time dilation. The difference in time it is known as the time dilation. Well, friends, I can give you another example. Suppose there is a spaceship went into the space. A person on the earth and a person on the another planet which is thousand light years from the earth time will pass differently for these two person the person on the earth and the person on the space suppose a person uh, that is uh, he travel he was there in the space for let's say for 30 minutes but over here on earth it is six years the time will pass differently for these two persons. Let's say, friends, you are going in a space. 
okay the time will flow normally you will see the time is flowing very very normal in your clock when you go into the space you are uh, traveling at a certain speed in a spaceship not with the speed of light but at a certain speed that is highly elevated speed your friend who is there on the earth they he is also having a clock so there will be the difference in this two clocks a person will spend only 30 minutes in the space and we are on earth that is 6 years has gone means like when you came by on the uh, when you came back on the earth the like your friend he aged 6 years but you are still younger than him 6 years like so that this is nothing but the phenomenon of time dilation time will pass completely different for different different objects in the space and over here the another phenomenon is coming to the picture that is nothing but the space time so friends that is nothing but the time dilation friends i will give you another example basic practical example international space station so like this international space station and earth after every one year passing on earth there is a deflection of time in between these two clocks clock on earth and clock on international space station there is a difference of 0.01 second so that is a, you know a very hard to notice but this is the difference like like we can see the time dilation is the practical thing which happens the clock in the international space station deviates by 0.01 second time spent in the space will always less than the time spent on earth einstein always taught us that the time and the space these are not two different entities this is the single entity called as a space time and he, then he taught us that the whole of the universe universe is a, like a space time there is a huge uh, like a matrix of the space time curvature and the sun is there in the center and all the planets are revolving just like a marbles behind uh, like between a uh, revolve uh, around the around the sun so this is the idea of the space time and we didn't even notice this space time fabric exist friends there was also another example the two super atomic clocks the two super atomic clocks they were synchronized to each other and uh, they like placed into two different planes the two different planes flew over the earth like one from the east side and one from the west side two rounds okay and uh, after that like uh, when the uh, the clock just uh, they and after that they have taken out the clocks the clocks were no longer in synchronized position there was a deflection in time so they check this super atomic clocks you know friends these atomic clocks are highly accurate the smallest change that is milliseconds change we can notice in this atomic clocks so there was a deflection in between the atomic clocks the atomic clocks and the reference clocks they were in no longer synchronized position so time flows differently in the space so this is nothing but the space time and friends over here we have learned about the time dilation the as the body approaches to the speed of light the time will flow very slowly for that particular body so this is nothing but the change in time with respect to the speed is known as the time dilation so i hope you understood the concept of time dilation this is narendra gupta signing off